In this tutorial, we will go over the different video settings in the game, and the effects they have on how the game looks. While it's hard to give a one-size-fits-all solution, as your computer's hardware may perform differently than mine, I can show you what the breakpoints are. When changing a setting from one level to the next causes a significant change in the looks and performance of the game. It is recommended to watch this video in full screen at 1080p to see some of the more subtle changes. Object detail is actually a level of detail, which determines the complexity of 3D models in the distance. At a lower setting, this stops environmental items such as street lamps and trees from appearing. As you increase it, these items appear further away, in greater numbers, and with more detail. This is one of the more demanding options in the game, as each increase of draw distance radius increases the area that objects are appearing dramatically. Particles and effects control the amount and complexity of special effects. This includes sparks, explosions, smoke, and weapons fire. A good example of this is the effects it has on the PPC. At low settings, the PPC only leaves a thin, wispy trail and has muted impact effects. At higher settings, the trail is thicker and the impact effects are much more pronounced and detailed. Lowering these settings can cut down on the clutter of battle, making it easier to determine what's happening and to keep track of your target. Post-processing controls advanced lighting techniques such as high dynamic range and sun rays. Note that the low setting seems to turn these effects off completely, and on medium they turn on. However, as you continue to raise the setting, there seems to be no noticeable change from medium to very high. Shadows controls the amount and complexity of shadows in the game. Note that similar to post-processing, the low setting actually turns shadows off completely. On the medium setting, shadows turn on, and as you move up, they get more detailed. Shadows is one of the more demanding options. Turning them off can greatly improve your performance. However, if you want shadows, setting it to only medium instead of high or very high can provide a slight boost performance with only negligible visual impact. Textures controls the quality of the textures on the terrain, mechs, and your cockpit. On low, this can give things a blurry look, and as you increase it, things become sharper and crisper. Note that the step from high to very high has little to no discernible change in the look of the game. As such, the very high setting is not required. Environment affects things such as water quality, ground clutter, and terrain level of detail. The effects and performance of this setting vary from map to map, but it's recommended to have it on very high as it prevents terrain pop-in that may block your fire. Shading controls the quality of the graphical shaders used by the game. This is a little hard to show as it seems to have very little impact on the look of the game. As such, a low setting will give slight performance boosts with negligible visual impact. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good hunting.